Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Plans have been announced for a national labour relations in Darba in November. Terence Creamer joins me to discuss what can be expected from the gathering. Hi Terence. Hi. South Africa is still licking its wounds from a long, sometimes violent strike in the platinum sector and another in the engineering sector. Is that why this in Darba was called? I think primarily yes. I think for many years, you know, this whole issue of labour relations in South Africa has been raised as an impediment to investment and growth. But I think it's really come to the fore over the last couple of years, particularly around the platinum sector strike. It was uh, South Africa's longest, about five months. It had a major impact on that sector and the companies in it. But it also impacted other sectors, sectors that supply into platinum. But overall, it also drained uh, the economy of uh, business confidence. It, affected investor sentiment and uh, it also raised issues about whether our labour relations frameworks, our, our law for instance and the mechanisms that we use to deal with labour relations are appropriate <coughs> because of uh, the, the fact that it just could not be resolved for so long. And then as you say it was followed quite soon after by a strike that, that was led by NUMSA in the engineering sector which was uh, I think added to the, the sort of feeling of this despair around uh, uh, our labour relations environment. So I think that is primarily uh, why we're having this. It was flagged in uh, President Zuma's second State of the Nation address after the elections that we would be coming together in some format using the social dialogue platform of NEDLAC to look at the issue of labour relations. And then uh, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa uh, last week announced that there would be this labour relations in Darby. Who is likely to participate and what is likely to be on the agenda? Well, it seems to be being coordinated under the aegis of the National uh, Economic Development and Labour Council, NEDLAC, where that is really the forum of um, social dialogue uh, on social uh, socio-economic issues in South Africa. So it's, uh, it is really led under that, led by the Deputy President, uh, Sir Ramaphosa. Um, but I think that it's also going to see high level other government officials, probably also the President there. And I think it's going to look at the, trying to assess some of the root causes of what's happening in the labour environment. There was a warning by Deputy President Ramaphosa that it's not going to be a thing about wholesale changes to the, to the Labour Relations Act, although th that will be on the agenda. It will be more looking at ways of uh, can there be a meeting of minds, can there be a common vision that uh, l the government, labour and um, business can buy into, can we find mechanisms for resolution um, that, are, that, uh, that lead to less you know, long-standing uh, long disputes, um, are the, the way strike balloting for instance happening, is that appropriate, um, is, there, is there inclusivity at the workplace? around union representation, which was a key issue, I think, in the platinum sector when AMCU rose. Um, w w you know, them getting representation and getting recognition was, was a key issue. So those sorts of things, I think, are going to come up. Um, and uh, the fact that it's NEDLAC, I think it's important that, I think, to reassert NEDLAC's role, it was, a, was seen as a very important body at some point uh, in South Africa's history and has definitely become um, a bit jaded and there have been questions about its role. But I think the one question there is that the constituent uh, parts of NEDLAC are very much the, the old style organised business, labour uh, and government formations and whether organisations such as AMCU, which are more new era uh, type trade unions and others uh, are going to feature within that or whether there's going to be an insider, outsider type dynamic. So, it's important, I think, for NEDLAC that this is, is run under its aegis and it's run well, but I think there's also going to have to be an attempt to make it in, as inclusive as possible. What are the prospects for this platform on social dialogue to make some progress on these serious issues? Well, I think uh, South Africa's got a, a history. It's one of our, uh, one of our uh, elements of positivity in South Africa that we don't just uh, have problems, but we have a place and we are prepared to have an engagement face to face around the table. It's how we got to where we are, what some people call the miracle, where we got to a democratic uh, a dispensation. 
but we definitely have lost our way and and I think uh, Ned Lack itself will admit that it's lost its way and it hasn't really, the leadership hasn't been shown in that forum. In fact, there's been a juniorization of people that represent the different organized formations at Ned Lack. There have also been um, that insider-outsider dynamic where some unions uh, have never really f um, experienced that social dialogue platform and haven't really been included. So I think there's, there's going to need, be necessary to have a broadening, have a sort of refresher, uh, new, new, new approach to this uh, important platform for social dialogue, dialogue. But at least we have it. And uh, I think it's, it, it's time to r remind ourselves that th these are, can be very important institutions for dealing for, with some serious and uh, what seem to be intractable issues in South African society. And this is one of them that needs to be dealt with. So if we can't have hope in this sort of dialogue, then we can't have hope in much. Because I think this is one of the, 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 the points of the South African DNA that people take away as positive. And I think we need to reinforce that positivity. And hopefully that's what will happen. I don't think it's going to be a, a sprint. It's going to be a marathon. I think there's going to, there's going to be the Indaba and then number of follow-ups. Obviously, th this has also been uh, called at a time and convened at a time when other elements around social and wage inequality are, are major issues. And the, the national minimum wage, I think, will also be on the agenda of this na uh, labor relations um, uh, Indaba. And I think, you know, I think it will be a platform people, for people to raise this issue of inequality in the workplace any uh, executive pay and other things. And it's, it's going to be uncomfortable at times. And as I say, I don't think it's going to be a one-off event. I think it's going to need to be followed up to have any serious impact. But it is going to be interesting to watch, and I think it's an important first step. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching, and join us again next time for more news analysis.